Hello everyone, Tony Walsh here and welcome back to Walsh Farms and another edition of Farm Truck Friday. Uh, so this coming Sunday is going to be Valentine's Day, so I've titled this message uh, for today is Can't We Just All Get Along? And yes, that's a popular saying, but I'm going to try to give some reasoning behind it and actually using some scripture and biblical reasons why we just all need to get along because this country has gone crazy, this world has gone crazy. And our politicians are dictating, the news media is dictating, our athletes are dictating, and our Hollywood elite are dictating how you and I are supposed to interact. You and I are grown adults. We should be able to get along without anybody else telling us how to get along. So we need to put them people to the side, and let's get back to the basics of being humans of being brothers and sisters in Christ so that we can just get along. So uh, saying that is easier said than done, but we need to learn how to do it. And one way to do that is living in peace with each other. And that's hard, as I just said, but living in peace with everyone is probably one of the toughest things we will ever do. Uh, peace is not the absence of conflict, but a byproduct of commitment. We will not always feel like loving the people around us, but we must pursue peace in order to propel people towards Jesus Christ, because that's what this country needs is Jesus Christ. Hebrews chapter 12 verse 14 and 15 says make every effort to live in peace with everyone and to be holy without holiness no one will seek the Lord see to it that no one falls short of the grace of God and that no bitter root grows up to cause conflict trouble and defile and defile many See, it's a lack of effort on our part to live in peace that develops the bitterness inside of us. And when we allow that bitterness to get into our heart, when we allow that bitterness to take over our bodies, take over our souls, take over our minds, we find ourselves mad at people over things they necessarily didn't do to us. Our judgment gets clouded. And when that happens, disappointment grows uh, into resent resentment, and then it fills our relationships with jealousy and negativity. Holiness, however, leads to peace. But a lack of holiness is critical to a close relationship, not only with each other, but more importantly, it's a lack of a relationship with Jesus Christ. See, it's that right relationship with Jesus that leads us to a right relationship with each other. Notice I ain't brought in any politician, no sports athlete, no movie star, no news media. It's that relationship with Jesus Christ that fixes our relationship with you and I. We cannot live in peace with others if we are uh, creating conflict and creating distrust. Our actions, our attitudes will either facilitate or frustrate our ability to communicate the gospel of Jesus Christ. And it will either cause pain or it will cause peace. Which way do we want to go? See, now we have little control over who we meet, but we have complete control over how we respond to those we meet. See, without peace, our attitude will add to the burden that others carry instead of adding to the unity that we all need. It's through Jesus Christ that we can make every effort to live in peace with others. Now we've all had that coworker, we've all had that classmate, we've all got that family member who is different. Something about these people makes them approachable, welcoming, and genuinely hospitable. 
even in an environment where talking about faith is discouraged, those people have such a loving attitude that it makes clear they are Christians. The way these people genuinely care for everybody draws people into friendship. So let's you and I commit to being that type person. Treating everyone as brothers and sisters is important because how we treat people is what builds our reputation. In John chapter 13, verse 35, Jesus says, Everyone will know that you are my disciples if you love one another. See, it's how we welcome people. It's how we love people. It's how we love those around us, even strangers, is the clearest picture of Jesus' grace and his love that he has given to us. See, when we treat everyone we meet, our neighbors, the cashier at the store, the person who cuts us off in traffic, if we treat them with the same love that Jesus shows us, we then exude and display that spirit of hospitality. We display that spirit of grace that is opening a relationship with others. It's through those moments of grace, and it's through those most moments of relationships that we are able to show the radical life change that Jesus offers each and every one of us. Be the person to take the high road. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves me. Let's be the person that he wants us to be and share not our love, but his love. Because if we share his love, our love falls, follows right behind. Let's agree to get along. Politics aside, sports aside, all that other stuff is just noise. Let's you and I as humans just learn to get along. So that's the end of that message, uh, and, and I thank you for staying here long enough to hear that. But now, as always, it's time for our prayer time, and, and, and the list is getting longer. So don't forget to go to my community tab and see the prayer list from previous Farm Truck Friday uh, videos. So, and as always, you know, I want to pray for you if you have a prayer request. Just leave me a comment below. Send me an email to jmwashfarms at gmail.com. You know, and I'll pray for you in privately. Uh, it's totally up to you. But but I need to know. And don't forget the master list on the community tab because those there's people on there that still need our thoughts and our prayers. So today, uh, some, some new ones today. And the first one is one of my longtime great supporters. And I'll put the links to all these channels uh, in the description. But the first one is nothing edited, and she's battling an ulcer, so we just want to keep her in our thoughts and prayers, because you know with ulcers, it changes our diets, you know, depending on the pain, changes our moods, so, you know, just want to pray for her ulcer and inner healing. Uh, Fossil, Ke Fossil Creek Kennels is, uh, the whole family has nearly caught the virus, so just want to pray for them. Uh, a new channel to me that I just learned about this week through a live stream that I was on. I can't remember the live stream, but the new channel is Mary's Ranch and Wild Cooking. And Mary's going through some health issues, so we just want to pray for healing and comfort uh, for, for her. Uh, the next one, these two have been affected by the storm uh, up north. Well, one's, one's up north, the other one's in Florida, but still storm damage. You know, and as we know, it's a crazy time in this world. Finance is getting tough, so any kind of storm damage to our property you know, just wreaks havocs to our minds, our patients, you know, and of course, and then obviously our, our finances. But the first one is uh, De Haven Family Farm, and Chris suffered a, a setback when a, sto a snowstorm collapsed on one of his buildings, uh, falling on some equipment. I haven't followed up with him uh, towards the latter part of this week, so don't know the seriousness of the damage. But any damage to our farm equipment, you know, is, is devastating to, to, it doesn't matter what size farmer you own or, or homestead, any kind of damage is devastating. Uh, the other one is come on homesteading. Uh, they, they had some wind damage that, that caused some heartache and headaches to them. So 
let's just pray for both of those, you know, because damage is hard to overcome. And we have to remember what's what could be minor to us is major to somebody else. Uh, this channel is one we most of us know and love, and we prayed for him multiple times, but now he's back with a, another issue, and it's back issues. And that's Mickey Bell Roberts, the, the African lion. You know, his, back's, his back is back to bothering him. Uh, so just want to pray for his comfort because he's trying to grow his homestead, and he can't grow it when he can't work. So, so Mickey, we're just praying for you, brother. Uh, this one I just saw a short clip uh, Thursday afternoon. Uh, and I saw it on His Way Homestead, but his wife Shelly is actually the healthy homestead chick. And I don't know if she was in an emergency room or a doctor's office, but they was working on her right lower leg and had an orthopedic boot on it. So Shelly, you know, we just want to pray for you and your healing. You know, if your ankles hurt, your legs hurt, whatever. We just uh, pray, pray for your, your healing uh, for whatever's going on with you. And the... Uh, Last one is obviously, or the last two is obviously, you know, all the people that are coming down with COVID. Uh, and even a lot of those that are just sick and having false COVID tests or negative COVID tests, let me say, negative COVID tests, but they're still sick. So we just have a lot of sick people in our country. And then, of course, we need to pray for our country itself because Lord only can help us. Because we're going the wrong direction. And it doesn't matter about the political parties. You know, I'm, I'm about to the point that they're both corrupt. And they're both in it for themselves. Neither side is looking out for you and for me. So let's pray for our country. And let's pray for all these others. So let's go to the Lord in prayer. <clears throat> Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, again, Lord, Lord, we just thank you for being the loving Father you are. Lord, we come to you again. Just humbling ourselves as your children, Lord. Just help us learn the life lesson that Jesus taught us, and that is to love everyone. Put all the worldly things aside. You know, our politics and our politicians have run us in the dirt. Our news media no longer tells the truth. Our Hollywood elitists try to force their opinions on us with the movies that they make or the TV shows they make. And our athletes, you know, that are making millions of dollars while soldiers are out there putting their lives on the line. Athletes making millions of dollars while public safety is putting their lives on the line just so they can go to their football stadiums or basketball gyms or baseball stadiums and disrespect this country as a whole. So, Lord, we as a country, we as a nation, we as a people need your help. Those families that are still experiencing COVID, those that are experiencing other health issues, Lord, we know you're the great physician, the great healer, the great comforter, Lord, so we just pray for your healing touch. Pray for your blessed touch. Pray for your comfort on each and every one of these people that we know, those that we don't know and their families, Lord, just please give us your healing touch. Lord, we pray for nothing in, edited in, in her ulcer. Lord, we just ask you to ease the pain on her. Uh, for Fossil Creek Kennel's family that is positive with the virus, Lord, uh, just pray for their healing uh, through this illness. Uh, for Mary at Mary's Ranch and Wild Cooking, whatever her health issue may be, Lord, we just pray for your healing touch on her. Uh, for Chris DeHaven, DeHaven Family Farms, and for Come On Homesteading, Lord, we just uh, pray that you ease their burden on the loss of their equipment in some of their buildings. And Lord, and I know there's more than those two. We, we prayed for some a while back, but you know, those are the two that just got my attention this week. But there are many others that are having storm damage. So Lord, we just lift them all up to you during the recovery phase of fixing their property. Lord, again, Lord, we prayed for Mickey Bell Roberts several times, you know, with the, the strokes that he had and other issues that he's had. And Lord, now is, is, back, is back to bothering him. And Lord, he's so, trying so hard to make his new homestead work for, for his family. So, Lord, we just pray for his healing of his back so that he can get to work. So that he can be provider and providing for his family. And the Lord Shelley from 
healthy homestead chick. Lord, whatever is wrong with her right foot, right ankle, right leg, Lord, we just ask you to put the blessed touch on that limb to heal that limb and to provide her comfort. Lord, we just ask all these in the holy and precious name of your son, Jesus Christ. Amen. So that's the end of this Farm Truck Friday series, and I'm going to leave it as Farm Truck Friday. You know, I had talked about naming it maybe in his garden or something, but you know, if I did that, I would miss, or you would miss, the scenery that is here behind me. You know, and, and there's just no way I could ignore this beautiful place or, you know, in our pecan orchards when the leaves are green and the shade's there. So I'm going to stay with Farm Truck Friday just because the backgrounds fit better. Uh, and this, honestly, this is all God's. We just pay taxes on it. It's all His anyway. So it doesn't matter if I'm in a garden, if I'm in a pond, if I'm in a pecan orchard. You know, we just need to spend time together. So I'm going to stay with Farm Truck Friday. So if you're a new viewer and haven't subscribed consider hitting that thumbs up giving us the, the like you know subscribe to us hit that notification bell so you can get notified of future videos again if you're one of my returning subscribers i thank you from the bottom of my heart for all your support and more importantly your friendship so that ends this video and until next friday y'all take care and god bless